Hello everybody and welcome to the NASCAR Legend Series race number 5 from Jacob Motor Speedway. John Motor Speedway is right next door and is our next week's location because if you can remember from our last broadcast, which was a week ago, we will be staying at the JJ Motor Complex for the next three weeks. First it's the Jacob track, then the John track, and then we'll have a JJ course, a JJ super course that is not yet fully planned out, so we have no picture for you. Now let's go ahead and get down to today's starting lineup. On the pole is Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88, beside him is the 55 of Michael Waltrip. Row 2 is the 48 of Jimmy Johnson and the 17 of Matt Kenseth. Row 3 will be the t Tony Stewart in the 20, and the 24 of Jeff Gordon beside him. Row 4 will be the 12 of Ryan Newman, and the 18 of Kyle Busch. Row 5 will be the 43 of Richard Petty, and the 4 of Kevin Harvick. And then row 6 will be the 2 of Kurt Busch, and the 5 of Mark Martin. As the cars roll off onto the track, let's get to today's race facts, as there are 12 cars as always. Those 12 cars will be running 15 laps around the Jacob Speedway. And keep this in mind, the inside lane is extraordinarily important as there are a lot of left-handed hairpins. And now Dale Jr. will lead us to the line and we are underway here at the Jacob Speedway. He gets out to a, he gets a monster jump off that reach start and will lead everybody to the stripe. And, oh no, Jimmy Johnson trying to get in front of Dale Jr. way overshoots the hairpin. That opens the door up for Dale Jr. to get a massive run. And here comes Matt Kinseth trying to hunt him down now. Oh no, Richard Petty hard into the wall. Oh my goodness. Richard Petty, something broke on his car and he went head on straight into that wall. My goodness, that was a huge hit. I really hope he's okay. That was a massive hit. He rolled over there at the end. Man. Either way, with him out of the race, we will resume. We must go on as the green flag is once again in the air. And here comes Ryan Newman using advantage of that inside lane. He will pull out into the lead. What a jump he got on the inside, recognizing that you can pull out as soon as the leader gets to the strike. Now, Newman trying to fend off Dale Jr. He doesn't have that boost of momentum anymore. And we have reports that he may have a mechanical failure on board. He will have to come down pit road. I believe he is out of this race. Too bad for Ryan Newman. Oh my goodness, no! What a hit! Mark Martin. We've had some hard licks at this course. From Richard Petty to Mark Martin. That was an absolutely vicious Contact with the edge of that pit wall for the entrance of pit lane. What a... Oh my... Wow. That was an extraordinarily hard hit. Both Ryan Newman and Mark Martin are done for the day. Mechanical failure and obvious... A big crash. As we will resume with five laps to go here. Let's see how this race will end. Dale Jr. once again leads us to the line. Michael Walter trying to get down low. Won't get there. Dale Jr. will have a huge lead as he uses that inside. Michael Walter does too to get over to get to that second position. As he's trying to hunt down Dale Jr. now. Will that happen as the rest of the cars in the field start to single out? Get into a straight line. It's gonna be really hard to catch Jr. if he keeps hitting his marks with two to go now. I don't think Michael Walter will be able to get him. Here's some ground made up. No, some ground lost. He's not gaining any time at, at the end of these laps. As we come to the checkered flag, it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. that captures the win today. And oh my goodness, wow, what a pass on the inside. At the very end of the race, Kurt Busch makes a huge move on Kevin Harvick there. As Dale Jr. just uses that inside, as we've talked about, especially right there, to really get into the lead. Then he comes across the line first, Michael Waltrip, Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth, and then Kurt Busch pulls off an amazing run right there down the front stretch against Kevin Harvick as Dale Jr. pulls into the victory circle. And everyone else just gets ready for next week. They don't even have to go anywhere. Well, I guess they'll have to move a couple yards. Either way, Dale Jr. is the winner of today's race. Here are your port standings now as to five races into the season. We are at the halfway mark, everybody. 
We will be racing at the J John course next week, as I told you earlier. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions, just leave them down in the comments below. So thank you all for watching, and we hope you all have a good night.